Welcome to another Aquamate Species Spotlight. Today we're going to be taking a look at the crystal shrimp or caradina shrimp. Crystal shrimp are probably my favorite shrimp. I love the coloration between the bright white and the bright colors you can get. They can come in blue, yellow, black, and these guys are red. They almost look like little candy cane shrimp. Uh, so these are the red crystal shrimp. They're super active. They just forage around your tank, just looking for food all the time, taking things off plants, uh, off the bottom of the substrate and off wood. So they're always moving around the tank and every now and then you'll see them swimming in the middle of the tank and they are a real pleasure to watch. These guys can be the perfect sort of cleanup crew in some tanks. Now their tank mates can be very limited, but we'll get to that. But they're just really good in a small tank and give you something different and you can fit a whole bunch of small crystal shrimp in something like a 20 to 40 litre tank, whereas you don't have that sort of option when you're looking at fish. They grow to about an inch in size and they're not too tricky to breed either. When you have a female and she's heavily buried, she'll have black eggs underneath her belly. And the eggs take about 30 days or so to hatch. And the really cool thing, when the baby shrimp come out, they're just as bright as mum and dad. So you just see this tiny, tiny, maybe two millimetre shrimp with a bright red and bright white. And it's pretty fun to watch them grow up. Parameters, these guys like 6.2 to 7.2 on the pH scale and around 21 to 25 degrees is ideal. As I said before, you want to have about a 20 litre tank. I've got a couple in a 10 litre tank over there, but I'm actually upgrading a tank over here and we're doing a nice little scape for them and they're all going to be moving over to a 20 litre tank. They're not too fussy eaters, they're always trying to eat things off of all the surfaces in the tank, but I always like to feed mine some shrimp pellets. And I mix it up and every now and then use some of the uh, shrimp snow. Um, these are the two brands that I've been using a lot of. And they also like to eat algae wafers. A couple things to look out for with shrimp is that they do molt, so they're constantly growing new shells. And I've found that putting some crushed coral sand in with my tank has been really handy at keeping the KH level up and giving them enough calcium to grow their new shells. Another thing, you can get hitchhikers come in on plants, rocks, wood, whatever you're putting in the aquarium. And the number one enemy of the shrimp is planaria. So look this little product up, no planaria, if that becomes an issue for you. Um, I've used it, I've got a video that I can show you about using it. Uh, I lost a few shrimp to these little worms, um, but I fixed the problem months ago and I haven't had an issue since. So if you're thinking about getting a tank with shrimp and you wanna have some fish as well, you gotta think about which fish are compatible. Things like a better fish might fit all the criteria for the parameters and tank size, but they're gonna look at the shrimp as a healthy snack. There are people that do it, and there are people that don't care if they lose a shrimp or two. Uh, I've learned from experience. I've had a better snack on a couple of my shrimp before, so it's just not something I do. So some good fish that you could add to your shrimp tank would be small tetras, guppies, uh, and otto sinkless. They're probably three really good ones that should leave your shrimp alone. Uh, yeah, you might lose a baby or two here and there out of curiosity from some of those guys, but it's gonna give you the best chance for a successful tank. So there you have it guys, I hope that gave you some information about the crystal shrimp. As I said, one of my favorite shrimp in the hobby. If you're looking into other fish and that sort of things, we have a few species care guides on the channel, so make sure you hit the subscribe button and check out what we're doing next week. Until then guys, as always, remember to acclimate your shrimp and fish. I'm Josh from Aquamate, I'll see you soon. Oh,